What, Poppy? Hello, it's like I'm on the TV here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the TV. <laughs> Doggers. Why are you looking at me? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close-up. <laughs> Did you go for your close-up? And this is the ending now you're showing your ass. <laughs> yeah. The, the brown eye. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Conan? Hello, and welcome back. Mm, till now, let's see what we can do about getting this thing taken apart. Man. It's a big old TV here. It would have been nice, but the screen's broke on it. So, I've already taken all the screws out the back of it. So, should be able to just lift this right off of it. And see what's in there. Uh, man, that's heavy. Still, plastic. Big old piece of plastic. Don't have any metal in it. I thought I had a piece of metal in it. Huh. Make it stand up over here out the way for right now. Doesn't want to cooperate. There you go. Get out the way. Man, oh man, look at all the goodies. They look so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. <coughs> Lots of metal. All right. So, that's a speaker on that side. And the speaker on this side. And the tape everywhere. Let's pull off the tape. That'll make things go easier. Got all this tape everywhere scattered around. Let's get rid of most of it at once. Wow, it's got a speaker there, there, and two on the end. I didn't see those two at first. Huh. Lots of speakers in it. All right. Get on off of there. Tape everywhere. I like to get rid of it right off. So it don't get me aggravated later. Not that I really get aggravated, but let's see. This looks like the control for the lights. And those little screws don't want to come out with that one, so. Oh, how is that on there? There's a screw there. Let's get busy taking some screws out of here. Now I hear the cats in there aggravating each other. They're good for that. Let's see. Conan. What are you in there hollering about, buddy? Come in here. Hmm. All right, you're not very talkative there, guy. Well, like I was saying earlier, back on the, did them things pop out of there? Nah, too much trouble. Back on the sadder subject, I wasn't trying to make a comparison between my nephew and my dog, but she went a month earlier and we spent the last seven, eight years together almost every day, and we were pretty good buddies. Of course, like I said, it's no comparison to our brother losing his son. It's 
my brother and his wife losing their only child. I cannot imagine. It's very, very sad and there's no comparison. However, they're private and I'm not gonna talk about their business. That's why I didn't talk a whole lot about it. I was mostly sticking to my own thing. Like I said, not that they compare, but I don't wanna go too much into somebody else's business that they might not be wanting me to talk about their own morning. It's sad. It's the first person we've lost a generation after me. You know, my brothers and sister. It's the first nephew or niece. Kind of a shock. Lost a few in my generation, not many, but a couple cousins. I think it was one, maybe two years ago now. My, one of my cousins drowned. How do you get that off there? Ah. Probably supposed to push that in or out. This is a nice thing right here. This is gold teeth. And for some reason it has gold web on that whole thing. I don't believe I've seen that much on a wire like that. It's amazing. Mm. It's very pretty. Not much of a yield for sure, but very pretty. That's why I wasn't harping or talking too much on that. Like I said, it's cause it's very sad to me. And it puts things more in perspective. I can't imagine losing your child. Supposed to go first, not them. Let's get all these wires unplugged here. Ah. Silver. Not as good as gold, but we won't turn it down. Sure do miss my puppy dog. Even though I'd make a half dozen or more trips outside every day, <laughs> no matter the weather. She loved the snow. While first snow every year when it snowed enough to really pile up out there. She loved to plunge in it and tunnel her way through it. <laughs> that was so cool. Gonna miss the poor baby. Get all these speakers loose here. How was this one? Oh yeah, it's just popped on like the others. Nice two Two there, got their wire there, and wire going in here. Conan. And wire going there. Look at that. Okay, so let's how we want to set these up. Let's put these back to back. Oh, the wire from that side. Dummy, let's put them like that. All the wire out from between them. So Another one like that. Put that one on there. Put that one on there. See if we can wrap our wire around it 
somewhat to hold it. I should just set it aside and keep on taking stuff apart instead of wasting all this time right now doing all this weirdness. Set them over there out the way. And we got all everything pulled apart. Got all the big screws out of here. Good thing there's an arrow pointing at them, otherwise I wouldn't know where they are. It's amazing the weight of this thing. Lots of metal in it. Well, come on. One of these days you need to get you a better screwdriver that's electric. I can figure out what I did with my old battery powered screwdriver. This would be perfect for it. There's so many of these Phillips screws, and I don't. I need to go over and look at the camera, I guess, and see how good you can see anything. All right. <clears throat> this is kind of. There you go. Well, I try to be careful as much as I can and live every day like I want to because you don't know when you get it tomorrow. <clears throat> My father worked at the same company I worked at did land clearing and dirt work and all kind of different things. And he was skidding logs and somebody else was at the other end piling logs on the log pile with an excavator and the log rolled off the excavator's bucket and hit somehow the log that pile the log he was trying to chain to He's using a front end loader and knocking back and it was a brand new front end loader. It had nice new teeth, big old teeth on it, bigger than my hand. The one went in the back of each one of his thighs. And then he some kind of blood clot issue or got loose or something. Nonetheless he died. A couple of days later. Right? late few hours last hour of Easter Sunday not this year it's been back in 92 now but that was a crazy cat over there but I mean he was only 49 and a half well been 30 years now, hasn't it? Yeah, my goodness, almost 29. Wow. Time flies. Anywho, so, you ain't promised any tomorrows. So enjoy your todays, my friends. That's all we can do. We have to enjoy all our todays. And hope for tomorrow. What is that crazy cat over there doing? Which crazy cat is it? I think it's Conan. What are you doing, Conan? That's why I said I had to get rid of all the tape because now these pieces are sneaking up on me and giving me a hard time. What does this wire go? Oh, that goes to the things on the front there. Okay. Wow, snap right off of there, don't you? Like a gosling wire. Let's come around here and see what's going on here because this piece snapped right off of there. ran some of his controls. OK. 
Okay, let's get that off of there. Get that one off of there. Come on now. Conan! Come here, kitty. Plastic. More plastic. Conan. What are you doing, kitty? Piece of metal. What are you walking around crying for, Conan? Hmm? What? What are you doing? It's cool Conan here in my kitty cat. I usually don't like male cats or male dogs. Just the female ones. They nicer, more loyal, pretty, cleaner. But Mr. Conan here was a little tiny kitten underneath the shrub out front when I took Miss Roxanne out for a walk one day. Like three or four years ago now. We went outside and then she messed around the shrubbery for a while. She kept wanting to go over to buy it. And then we, I got her to come on, let's go back inside after it was time. And we got inside and she wasn't happy. She wanted to go back outside. I'm like, well, did I not give you a long enough time out there or what? So I took her back out. Why not? She went right back to that bush. And I'm like, what's going on with this bush? I went over there to the bush to see what she was so intrigued about. And what she was so intrigued about was the little kitten Conan was underneath that bush. He fit in the palm of the hand. I don't know if his mama left him on purpose because she had too many. Or because she didn't really like kittens. <laughs> Or what, but he sure was abandoned right there. And Miss Roxanne found him and wanted to keep him and bring him in the house, huh, Conan? Yes. Roxanne said, Let's bring Mr. Conan in. And he came on in and somehow he adopted me, didn't he? He follows me everywhere I go. He wants me to get up in the morning. He tells me to get up. He tries to bite me on the nose every day. And some days he wins. And some days he don't. But every time he bites me on the nose, it bleeds. So I try to never let him win. Where are you going? You jump up here halfway and then you're leaving again, buddy? What? Come here, Conan. 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 What are you doing? He likes to be wherever I'm at. We don't like me to go outside and stay away long. He's a funny kitty cat. <coughs> he loves to see me wake up. He's happy every day when he when I wake up. And that's pretty cool. Nice to see how happy he is to see me every day. All right, we're still taking screws out as we go. Some of these look like we're gonna need the other screwdriver, but no, it's gonna get that one. I'm surprised. Don't usually work so good on the little ones. Come on. <clears throat> I gotta get me some new glasses because I've been wearing these too, 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 too long now, and I can't see that good with them anymore. I can see much better than I can with it, but I don't want to know, so for now, uh, they're going to have to be, they're going to have to do, but one of these days, get me some new glasses so I can see much better. This might be a little easier. Besides, in the shadow, too. I'm glad they're working with this screwdriver, though. It's the one I like to use. Should get me another box over here. Stop filling it with metal because there's lots of metal coming off of this one. That's, that's 
that's nice. Let's see, we want to bend it in or out. See, the others are all cut back. Oh, no, they come loose. They come loose pretty easy. It's just, ah, that's good. So in that case, let's fold them all inward. fit in the box. Don't cut yourself. What are you doing, kitty? You think I'm crazy over here talking to myself? It's the same thing Roxanne thought all the time. Why is this weird guy talking to himself? Hmm. Alright, let's set it there. Coney. My goodness. Ooh wee. Big ol' heat sink. One, two, three, four, five. One, two motors, another motor, another, another, another one, a little one. These are big old dewey's. Wow. That little place I nicked my hand. I thought I felt a little nick a minute ago. Too slow, way too slow. How this thing supposed to come off of there? I guess just rip it off. Huh? It's a weird little way it plugs. Different. Tell it looks like it's silver in there or a little oil. When you say silver, it's just plated in silver. I mean it's not solid. Or it'd be too flimsy. Ah, it's just the way it is. Mm, come on up there. Looks like it's unplugged, but you're not. What's if I had better glasses, I might tell how the plug works. I've broken off the sides and it still hasn't worked there. I swear the plug plugged up to it to give it the power. Little tiny screws. By well, tiny, I mean very short. Get this little piece of metal off of it. It's funny, see. A while back, I took that car load. So, you know, you can only get so much of steel scrap out to the junkyard. And I think she got like 35 bucks. And then she took a couple bags of cans today to the can machine. I think she got about 35 bucks. So. Definitely, the money is in the aluminum cans, not the shred. But the only reason we do the shred is because, as you can see, I got lots of shreds in here, and I'm not gonna throw it away. For sure, we're gonna take it to the scrap yard and sell that for pennies. But still doing my part of recycling this earth and reusing it. Why not? It's easier than the first time around. And if we use all the metal out the ground, we'll run out one of these days. A long time from now. But we'll run out one of these days and not be able to make anything else. I guess at that point, we could just go back and dig up all the shit. Metal we buried, huh? All right, unplug that one. Unplug that one. Unplug that one. Uh, silver in that one. Huh? Oh. I think that's silver on that one. I mean, not silver or gold, but it looks more like silver. Than and gold, the gold, probably the the wishful thinking. All right, so I didn't.
any rate, that's the power board and all the motors and heat sinks and such that made things make wonderful TV picture. This thing here is the over the controls and what have you for the lights that make it work. I was thinking this little this screwdriver was going to work on them. It worked on those other little ones, but it won't work on those little ones. Okay. Got this little metal bar off of there. Another piece of steel. Another piece of steel. It's got this pad a phone on the back of it. I'll stick that in that bucket over there for now because you never know when you might need some of that for one of these little projects that you claim you're going to do one of these days. Alright, let's get this cover off. Since it don't seem to want to come up so easily otherwise. Boom, and that one also. Oh, come on, there you go. And this is the most interesting part of it. After this, whatever you find here down on below is just the lights and the screens. And it's not as exciting. It's not near as exciting. Is that one of that off of there? Yep. Okay, so there's that cover off, and again, it's some, some shred steel. Another little piece of insulation type foam, but that one's not worth keeping, it's too tiny, and fell apart. What's going on here now? Okay. I guess we should take the board off. You can see it's got a couple heat, three heat sinks that I see right there on it. And has all the plugs here for the speakers and headphones and doodads. And they're it's very, very thin on them, but there's all of these connectors it's slashed with gold. Like I said, it's very, 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 very thin, but it's still gold. That's because this is a higher quality TV. The older, the better for the gold and such that you find in them because they try to put less and less today. Uh, little silver on them, not much, of course. And there's this one. This is just steel. Oh, it's got some of those bigger rubber pads on it. And we'll peel them off and save them. Never know when something like that will come in handy. Pretty cool. Especially when they're wrapped with this stuff. For now, they'll sit there in that box. Just two more pieces of shred. Okay, over here. Unplug this in its gold teeth. Almost always the, the wire between this board and that board is when these TVs have the gold teeth. Ah. Oh yeah. Kind of broke that one a little bit. Wow. So that little piece of metal came off of that end of that. I accidentally broke it some so it gives me a chance to show you like I said it's not much look at that where is it 
Not much. That's all the gold on the end of that plug. Just what splashed on those teeth. Takes a lot of them to add up. Okay, so let's don't lose this one. Lay it right there. Okay, nice little power board. I mean a main board. It's gold there. Got these two sided flat packs. Another one da, 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 da. They have stuff in them that's worthwhile. The majority of us don't, but all these things do. These. I done forgot the name of most of these since I haven't been doing this in a few weeks. There. Anyhow. All of these plugins. Just flash with gold. It's hard to see, but then when you get it in the light, you can see it. So I'll have to get all those off eventually. That's for another day. Right, give my screwdriver back. And then the rest of the squire has got a gold on that end too. Back. Right, now what are we doing? Why is this? Ah, the screw's better, huh? Alright, hid some screws from me. There's one. There's one over here. Man, oh man. I've been looking at some videos that show me some really nice pieces of steel. Really nice places. I've seen some really nice stuff that I like to do, like the narrow boating. In England, I might want to live on one of the narrow boats and do that. It looks like it'd be fun, 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 fun. Cruising up and down the river on your little narrow boat. But I've seen some nice stuff in Sweden lately. Get over there, wire. Sweden, Denmark, Norway. These look like nice places. I'd like to go maybe pick out or even live one day. It would be like going home. That's where my ancestors come from uh, quite a long while back, of course, but Vikings. Vikings. <sighs> the older I get, the more urge I have to go home. <laughs> Even though I've never been there. Come on, wire. There you go. But it just feels like the right thing to do. I could make YouTube videos from there, but maybe there's no scrap to find. I don't know. Alright, taking too long with this. And these are... Either silver or gold, of course. But I can't tell. Looks like they're little gold fingers on the end of the wire there. Of course, the rest of it's just copper, but copper is copper. All right, where are we at? This nasty tape out of the way. Still got to get the two power boards off the side and. This big old board right here. Oh, you meanie. Which screwdriver do you want me to use? This one? Alrighty, there you go. Now you're talking. Alright, where's your magnet? Thing about doing it by yourself all the time, huh? 
You don't know. Well, not all the time, but I mean the. Now I drop that little tiny screw somewhere. I mean the times that you do do it. Okay, let's take a peek. Yep, we're still running, but we're way too long. Way too long. Come on. Let's get this over with, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, get this little metal cover off. Where's this one? No, nope, this is going to be plastic. It looked like it was metal, just black, but it's not. It's going to be plastic. I do believe. How's that piece screwed on to what? Oh, it's down there. Got some big screws right there. One right there. All right, this one's not going to be too interesting on the inside of the, because the screen's already broke. So, it's going to be of no use to keep, which is sad. Come on, give me my magnet. Stop that. Oh, yeah, look, we can take that right off. Right off of there. No reason why you want to be aggravating. Ah, it's because I'm slow. Alrighty. I'll put that in there. That's cute. This has. Gold teeth on this side. And a little gold in here where these plugins went. And this flashed with gold on the edge of these. Where the plugs plug. Really nice unit. The board here is just copper. But nicely made. Okay, where are we? Alright. Ready to take that off of there. There. Oh. I still had the tape was on it but it has this these are plugged and I didn't even think about them I wonder where they were plugged but these two little units here they're gold teeth so I don't know what this is flashed with really I think it's just aluminum aluminum okay we'll get those over there out of our way think about it this How is it? What's holding the board in now? It's all gold on this. It's not a copper board here. This is nice. This whole board, even under the green mass, is flashed in gold. Nice big square here. Gold, gold under this. Like I said, this whole plate. Whole place last to go. I don't know. I can look at that. Might not pick it up good in the light with the camera, but I can see the color. It's not the copper on this one. It's nice. It's very nice unit. I bet it was a beautiful TV when it was working. And another piece of metal. Get these couple pieces of rubber off it. It's a gooey. It's a gooey rubber. Quite strange. Let's set it over here somewhere at the moment. So we can get done with this. Ooh. Okay. Build it and take them loose. I thought I did, darn it. Alright. Okay. Oh, that's right. 
I only had two screws left to go on this one. Now I remember where I was at. One there. One there. Take off the little plastic, as I thought. Cover. Put it over here, out of the way. And this is the board that controls the the lights, the little long, thin, uh, fluorescent lights, and they have on this one possibly mercury in them, so we don't want to break them if they're not broke already. If they are, the mercury's wrong, they like gone. But I don't want to break them anyhow, cause I might have some use for them again sometime. This board here has a whole bunch of little motors on it to run those lights. Amazing how much stuff it takes. Uh, get one here. Come on over there. Jig is still hooked. I think it's to the to the lights. Unhooked easy enough, but maybe not. But we might can unsnap it from each one of the lights. But if they're not broken, I don't want to break them. I may want to reuse them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's a good number. It looks like, believe it or not, the board looks like it's silver underneath it. Strange. And that's what that one looks like. And that's the right one. You can tell. Hmm. It's pretty. Not a whole lot in them. There you go. So where are we? Guess we're getting ready to do this side. And this is, as usual, taking me much longer than I wanted it to. Which, of course, this video started out on a different note, anyhow, not just the scrapping, so I gotta take that into account. And I definitely miss my little puppy. Unless you wasn't a little or a puppy. And she liked being a husky. So friendly. We get her raw, not raw, but frozen bones. And yes, raw is right. Pork and beef, but she preferred the pork ones. When the butcher. She love eating them frozen bones. It's amazing how she do that. And imagine eating a big old frozen bone or sometimes eating five in a row. I couldn't do it. <laughs> of course. Of course I couldn't do it, dummy. Right there, that screw I lost earlier. We're gonna have to pause here in a minute because someone's gonna be coming home from work. Somebody's gotta do it. And might get a little noisy, so probably best to take a little pause to get in and get settled. I need 
to wash my hands up good anyhow. Take me a couple minute break because I'm touching all this stuff for a while there. There you go, that was loose. Let's see if we can unsnap him as easy as we did the other without having any consequences. Mm. Alright, but go ahead and pause it. Sound like I heard my phone calling me in there. Hold on. Be right back. What dog? What's in there? What is it? Safe to live another day. Maybe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's Let's good. Clean this but mess now, up here. look at, at the camera while you're there. Hello. <laughs> Bye. I sound oh, so dumb. Do like this? When I laugh, my laugh is bad. Bye. More. We're just like this. Lisa. That's better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey doggies, did you like your walk? Oh, it's time to go inside now. Go on. Good dog. <laughs>